Hi there, it's Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel. And um, today, I guess the first thing we're doing is seeing what this is. Thank you, Jewel Rose. Oh, okay, Jewel Rose was looking for some um, Nautilus shells and I fish up so many of them um, that I was able to give her some. So I guess she was, oh wow. Emerald block, cake, and a stack of arrows of harming. That is, that is way more than a, a, a bit of fishing time. So um, thank you, Jewel Rose. That was very, that was very generous and not at all necessary, but appreciated. Thank you. Um, so let me put all of this away. I just came within range of horsemen, didn't I? Well, how about I take those arrows of harming right on back? Great. And I triggered them by coming this way, so I think if I run over this way, I should be able to get my dogs to help me. Come on, Fenrir. where rough is um, and actually I should since I seem to have bought myself time turn on replay mod because this this could be interesting Thank you guys, and come on inside with me. The sun's about to go down, and I need to feed you up because I heard at least one of you get hurt. No, no, come in. Come in. Oh, Fido, you should have joined us. Where's... All right. Sit. Sit. Where's Fenrir? Fenrir! Oh, t tell me they didn't kill you. Oh no, there you are. Okay, come on inside. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Shouldn't take too much. I don't want to end up accidentally making puppies. Okay, you are all set. All right, if you're not gonna come in, where did you go? 
There you are. <gasps> Wonderful. Sit. Now, are you... I, I don't know how to read a cat's health. But the sun's going down, so let's, let's do something about that. And also... Okay. And... I should eat too. Uh, right, so for the kitty cats I need fish. And it's funny because I had been walking around with a whole bunch of fish in my pockets because of, um, because I was trying to get the, the complete catalog. Um, and now that I'm not doing that anymore, Oh, okay, I wasn't actually trying to fly. When I do try, that doesn't work. <laughs> Go figure. All right, I think I have the most of raw cod. So let's see. You're good, okay. Oh. Where's the one who was over here? Oh dear. Okay, you're good. I mean, I lucked out that um, they didn't come over here, so I don't even know why I'm bothering. I just now I'm just feeding all the cats. Um, I think I've got one in here. Well, and we've got, we've got, uh, you here. And I think, no. That's where Rough 2 is. And I don't know where Rough 1 is. Because I thought I had lost Rough 1 and then I found him and I don't know. Okay. That, that is probably all the cats who are actually here. Oh, other than I missed the Siamese cat. It has been a while since I've done any recording for a whole bunch of reasons. That's Thor's day. Um, and, and then there were uh, memory problems with, with the computer and I don't even know if some of the stuff I had recorded before that was bits and pieces is still any good. So did manage the complete catalog, and so I went and got myself the um, complete catalog map from Blue Owl. I think I had already shown the Always Be Kind before. Um, but one of the things that I'm pretty sure I teased in the last video I actually posted was to show what was going on with something that was just like a, a couple of trapdoors in the ground, and and now. There's, there's all this stuff. Um, right. So, let me come around the long way. Welcome to my flower shop. Um, yeah, so, yeah, and I can't do the, um, pressure plate thing here because, yeah. Here's my shopkeeper with a book for special orders. Yep. Um, but this is where the, the trap doors were in just sitting there because this patch of ground actually gets a lot of different types of flowers. So I decided, since I was getting annoyed with having to go around just bone mealing the ground every time I wanted to decorate, that I would make a little flower farm. So, there we go. Oh, I didn't even finish sorting things because of the horsemen. Whatever. Um, yeah. So, that's this, uh, this is an avamance. 
it's basically the same model as the um as the one for the warped stuff. I do like this better that it are it has a maintenance hatch built in, but also I finally figured out um how to make my keyboard cooperate with churning the uh with showing chunk borders, so this is not going across a chunk border. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I decided, well, what am I going to do? I guess I'll put a little flower shop on top of it. And then it grew and grew and grew. The um, basic design was kind of from, um, oh, why am I blanking? Uh, Kelpie the Fox, um, who inspired some other things over there. <laughs> But then I miscounted things and ended up doing a bit of tweaking to, to make it work despite the miscounting of things. And I need another fence in there, or perhaps it just won't go because of the miscounting of things. So we're just going to go this way so you can't see that. <laughs> um, and I think this is overdone a little with the, with the little mushroom lamps, I think. I'm going to have to, it's too much of a good thing but we'll figure that out another day. Um, but yes, I've been working on the waterfront overall. And the, the flower shop is only the most recent of all the things, because of course, you know, if you're gonna have a, a, a trade lane, basically, that you are on, then this is where the, the shops are gonna be. So over here we have let me back up again. Potion Shop, also a Kelpie the Fox design with some liberties taken on my part. Also has a shopkeeper. And I ended up going a little overboard slightly because I don't just have these all labeled. I have them stocked. Not always fully stocked, but, but stocked and I, I I got very carried away because brewing things is fun it is so I was brewing all the things so in here we have the actual brewing room um, got a couple of cauldrons a couple of smokers and, and furnaces and things and then in here we've got all our ingredients here we've got random panes of glass that didn't get used and in this cupboard we have some random bits of, of potions that yeah are just sitting there and then this one I think has the had had the empty bottles but I used them all I have gone through stacks and stacks of bottles so um, this is not a potion shop in the sense of like being in the shopping district shop. This is just, it's my storage place for potions, but it is, it looks like a potion shop. And here is the shopkeeper. Hi there. Trying to sell, trying to sell me a, either an awkward potion or perhaps a mundane potion. Yeah, I'm not buying. But you go on, keep trying to sell that. This build, I am probably the least happy with. Um, it is also a Kelpie the Fox design, but here's the thing. Kelpie the Fox works with specific um, resource packs that show very different textures for things like purple. Um, it actually looks like a, a, a navy blue brick or a, or a blue purple kind of brick. And that is not what we have here. I thought I would try it anyway with the purple because I did need something that had slabs and stairs. I'm, I haven't decided. It certainly is also otherworldly, but it is not nether otherworldly. So I might come back in with Blackstone or something. I don't know. But anyway, this is a bookstore. And I still need to set up the outside for the, like, where the, um, for sale 
books are, like the, the discounted ones would be um, at a local bookshop, like the um, like the one near me, um, that I, I hope will be open again for people to come in soon. Why do I have this just sort of sitting here? Right, I was doing stuff with books and quills because we have a whole bunch of written books here that are either Some of my recent favorites, like This is How You Lose the Time War by Amala Elmotar and Max Gladstone, Nebula Award winner from last year. When Worlds Collide, a um, little older, but also awesome by Jolene Daw. How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Kendi. I believe that was on the bestseller list last year and also an extremely good read. This was, that was what that one was, yeah. So yeah, I, favorite books, um, recent, um, like popular books or, or award-winning books or just whatever. Uh, some of them are on lecterns, on display. Over here we have the magical books, which are of course just random enchanted books that I fished up that I will probably never use because they're things like Bane of Arthropods. So I need to finish working on that. Apparently I, I stopped in the middle because I see I have some blank spots for, for more books. And I, I need to decide what I'm going to put there. Probably, which one is this? Calculating stars. I might add the faded sky and or the relentless moon if I don't already have them. Same series. Rosemary and Rue by Shauna McGuire. Could add local habitation, which I just finished reading. The the uh, October Day series, very fun. Witch Mark by C. L. Polk, another awesome series that uh, just finished up. It's a trilogy. I think I might have added Soul Star, but I don't think I had finished reading it yet. Where did that go? Okay. The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. Oh, that was really good. That, that just blew my mind. How to Train Your Dragon. Power of Vulnerability by Brene Brown. Because, you know, we do have the occasional nonfiction. The Girl Who Drank the Moon. Oh, that was a fun book by Kelly Barnhill. But yeah, so that's what I decided I'm doing with my bookstore. It's just putting all books that I love. If you do not see your favorite book on the shelves, please write the title and author in this book and so we can try to get it with the next order. Um, I still haven't put together the my shopkeeper here. She is still just an armor stand. But I forgot that was actually a pressure plate. Yeah. Okay, and then of course, some people actually just live here. So we have some just houses, and these are also uh, Kelpie the Fox designs. Hello there. Oh, that's right, I moved you over here. Okay, so no, you didn't get killed by the horseman. Wonderful. Very snug little cottage here. I, I did really go on a total brewing spree. This probably is any of this actual. Oh, good, it's just water bottles. <laughs> um, and then there is this one. I just kind of played around with the color palettes. I'm less happy with how this one came out. I really think the um, the crimson does better with a darker offset rather than with the birch, but it was worth a shot to see how it would turn out. 
This one's really tiny. And I can actually jump over that, but you can't jump over this way, which is the important part. And then coming around here, which is headed over towards the village area and the swamp. I'm going to have to check. I, I have been using so many tutorials from so many sources. I think this is another Kelpie the Fox. I'm not entirely sure. I will do my best to link the relevant tutorials. I, I think this looks like Kelpie's style, even though it's a bit different than some of the others. Um, yep. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Some place to sleep. They're all a little bit different. Because, you know, they would be unless it's a... suburban subdivision of some kind. And uh, we have more nether plants popping up everywhere, which was always going to be a thing. And I decided I finally had things built up to the point where that made sense to do, to put a bit of um, just a bit of foliage really between the waterfront and the it's not quite an industrial district, the farming district, I guess. Over here. So we've got some regular trees, we've got some nether trees, we've got some giant mushrooms. And the other thing I ended up building because, like I said, I went on a potions spree. Do -do 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 -do. Way down here, I decided I had enough space that I could make this. This is my creeper farm. I should definitely be able to find the tutorial for that. But it is a it is a cat creeper farm. It's a modular type thing. Oh. That is a lovely sound. Um So yes, have almost another whole stack of gunpowder. Yay. And I was going to put stuff away, and then I didn't. And I keep getting caught up doing other things. There we go. Nope, it's not nighttime. Okay. So, let's have some cake over here. I have a punch one bow that can go in here. With these other bows that have been fished up. I got some more regular arrows. I'm going to put the arrows of harming away. I like to save those for when I've got something big like, oh, I don't know, the four horsemen showing up. Let's put this down. Actually, let's put it down here so it's easier to find them. And then just grab some regular arrows. Um, we do not need all of you to be in here, so come on outside. Let's, let's get you back to your usual stations. Um, Tough, you're over this way. Peppermint Patty, you're over this way. 
Yeah, right about there. And Tough, you are over here. Yep. And... I think Fenrir, I ended up sitting down over here somewhere just... No? Yes. Yeah. You, this way. Because you are helping to stand guard over here. There we go. Okay. So there's there's some of what I've been working on. That's not even all of it, because it has been a while. And it's not that I haven't been playing, it's just that I haven't been recording. But it looks like I need to sleep off the night again before we go visit those other spots. So, yep. There was always going to be another lighthouse up this end, because, of course, this opens back up into wide open ocean out here. And this isn't quite the northernmost part of my base. I was going to try to put it more at the northern limit, which is... Oh, I would need F3 up to find it. Yeah, here. This is the northernmost part of my base. Um, but this is where the land really kind of starts sticking into the here and, and narrowing things. So it made sense to build the lighthouse here. I did build this out a little further because it wasn't coming out quite as far. So I'm going to have to make that maybe look a little more natural at some point. And, I, yeah, I moved the conduit over here. Now, this is an interesting um, situation. The lighthouse tutorial is by Major Majesty, I think the player's name is. I, I am not that familiar with that player's builds. I just was looking for something that was a little different than the one I already had that I could use similar materials to keep, you know, in the same vein. So that's what we have here. The inside still needs some kind of work. And these are not the safest stairs if you are not coordinated. There's not a whole lot on the various floors in here. As you can see. Come on. Ugh. But then you can get up here if there's any need to do maintenance. Look out at the boats. Making sure everybody's okay. Tents of light, which did not quite come out the way it was supposed to, but that's okay. It was designed to be a redstone uh, kind of deal, because I think it was a pre-1.16 pre tutorial. I decided to do it with the shroom lights. That is not what went wrong. What went wrong was me attempting to math the difference of having a bunch of redstone blocks and, and not having a bunch of redstone blocks, <laughs> basically. Because you don't need redstone blocks for shroom lights. Okay. But I just figured, you know, the people who live in on this waterfront, that is the most plentiful lantern type they would have. Um, I do use, in a few places, um, sea lanterns. But for the most part, I have tried to stick with Shroom lights are the little end uh, end rod lanterns. That's another I got too carried away. I need to thin that out. 
while still keeping the light levels where they need to be. <laughs> Um, I, I do need to decorate at least the first floor here. And at some point I shall. And then there's the house. The house is not from the same tutorial as the lighthouse. It is from a lighthouse tutorial by, the, by Mythical Sausage. And I just, I wanted a taller lighthouse than what was in that tutorial. So, but I really liked the house. So yeah, I kind of smushed the two together. And for the ins the inside decoration is, I think, quite a bit different than what Mythical Sausage did. But um, yes, we've got a kitchen here. We've got this all going on here. Some places to sit, some places to sit and eat, lots of books to read, some workstations to do various things. No brewing, because there are plenty of other places to brew around here. Such as over there. I definitely don't think I had shown this one yet. Um, this is, I believe, a sheep GG design with the composters as a primary texture block, I think. Again, I will attempt to dig up all the appropriate tutorials and link them. I just, I really liked it. Seemed perfect for this area with the little water over here and then go back out here into the yard. I'll come back inside. And this is the, the kitchen design that I kind of copied over that away. So got some brewing going on here and all kinds of other stuff. Bedroom in here. I did not close off the quote unquote attic. Um, it wasn't really quite tall enough for that. So I left the ceilings vaulted. Coat hooks. Yep. And then... I think I might have already started on this hobbit hole last time. But it's come a long way, and this is this is way too many shroom lights. This is basically me trying to just make sure this is not a spawning platform while I get around to building a, um, there's going to be a gazebo out here and maybe a little fountain. Um, I don't know why you'd have a water feature when you're so surrounded by water, but I like making those fountains. So we're going to have one. Um, so this little one... Oh, this is where my, this is where my jelly cat that I got to bring home ended up. Yes, not the jelly cat that Celestial helped me find. That one is still at the other end of the world because, because it's the other end of the world and I don't know how I would get that cat back here. <laughs> I just, I, I, I don't. I would end up probably at some point killing it, trying to get it out of a boat. Yeah, exactly, and that's not okay. Some sea lanterns here. I need to cover those over. And then inside, this whole this whole base has kind of been a progression of me using various tutorials to learn um, about different building styles and attempting to come up with one that is my own. This was also a tutorial from someone I don't normally do tutorials from. I think, I don't, I don't think this was Fwip, it might have been, or Frill, no, no, that would not be, I don't know, I, again, we'll attempt to find the tutorial, um, so we've got some, some fishies, got a little enchanting area,
Um, I do like the, the floor like this. Expensive, but I do like it. And bedroom where we've even got a juke. This needs some books. This bedroom is really sparse, but it does have records. And what's in there now? Chirp. I still didn't finish putting everything away, did I? So, chirp, wait, malohi, and far. And I think that's it for now. I think what I'm going to do next, well, what I'm going to do next is sleep off the night again. And uh, then IRL me needs to go to sleep, but I, depending on how long this is, I might try to squeeze in um, a time lapse of doing the gazebo stuff out there. Yeah, I think that's my goal. But first, nighty night. So, gazebo accomplished. I'm not sure I've thinned out the um, these lights enough. I might need to like take out every other or something because it still might be a little too much. But I am happy with the gazebo itself. And um, yeah. So I think that's where I'm going to sign off. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.